Hi friends, everyone around wishes to know more about share markets. However, when it comes to investing, we Indians are very skeptical about it. Few reasons why we might be skeptical about investing into shares is that we must have at least heard one person saying that they have lost a lot of money in shares. Secondly, stock markets make use of a lot of jargons which many a times may scare away people. Last but not the least, a lot of misconceptions keep Indian investors away from the stock markets. Hence, today I am going to share with you that one trick that will help you earn good returns from the stock market in the longer run. Before starting, I want you all to understand that whatever is going to be learned by you all is based on pure fundamental analysis and not something made up by me. Hence, we will have to learn a few concepts, but nothing to worry about. The concepts are super easy, and we together can easily nail it. The important concepts that we need to learn are book value, earning per share, and return on equity. If you already know these concepts, then you can skip this video and move to part two of this video. This is the reason why I made two parts for this video. But if you don't, then stay with me, cause what you're about to learn is really valuable. Let us start from the very basics. Let's say I own a company called SRC Private Limited. My business runs pretty well. However, I wish to expand my business for which I don't have money with me. In such a situation, I break down my company into many parts and start selling those parts to the normal public. Each small unit of the company is called a share. However, I do not sell all the shares of my company. I just sell a part of it. The amount of shares which are sold to the general public are called as outstanding shares. As the general public purchases a part of the company, they become the owner of the company. The company may not always want to sell shares to expand its business. It can a lot of time also borrow money and repay it later. When the company earns profit, it distributes a portion of its profit with its shareholders which we call as dividend. A certain portion is given as interest to the people whom it has borrowed money from, rest it keeps it with itself. Now that we have laid down the basics, let's start by understanding what book value means. A book value of a share is the value of the share that shareholders would get if the company were to liquidate entirely. Now I know what you are thinking, but in a while it will all make sense. The book value of a share is given as assets minus liabilities upon total number of shares. Let's say our company has total assets worth rupees thousand and it has liabilities worth rupees three forty. And the total number of shares the company is broken down into is 30. In that case, we get assets worth rupees thousand minus liabilities worth rupees three forty. The total number of shares rupees thirty. Hence, the book value of the share is six sixty upon thirty, which translates to rupees twenty two. Rupees 22 is the value of each share that the shareholders would end up getting if the company were to shut down today. You see, I told you it's gonna be easy. To avoid misunderstanding, let us learn earning per share and return on equity together. For the sake of simplicity, let's make two assumptions. Assumption 1. Let's assume that all the shares are distributed amongst investors. In that case, the total amount of shares outstanding will equal the total amount of shares, which is 30. Secondly, we'll assume that the company has earned a net profit this year of rupees 60. Let us now learn EPS and ROE. Earning per share is given as net income upon outstanding shares. We already saw that the net profit this year was rupees 60 and the shares outstanding were rupees 30. This translates an EPS of rupees 2. Similarly, return on equity is given as net income upon shareholders equity which is nothing but assets minus liabilities. Hence net income we already saw is rupees 60. Assets minus liability is also something that we had seen rupees 660 which translates and return on equity of 0.0909. For the sake of simplicity, 
Let's round it off to 10%. The EPS tells us how much profit did the company earn for each outstanding share or in other words, what was the profit earned for one share? The name itself is self-explanatory. Return on equity tells us how much efficient you are as a company to make profit out of your existing assets. Return on equity is an efficiency ratio. This makes return on equity very very important. We can calculate return on equity by different method as well. That is by dividing EPS with its book value. We already saw a earning per share of rupees 2 and a book value of rupees 22. Hence, if we divide 2 by 22, we end up getting a return on equity of 0.0909 which we rounded off to 10%. Friends, I face a time constraint which makes me go a little fast. If you didn't understand the concepts, feel free to see the video once more. Hope to meet you in the second part of this video.